what it is, man. This is the green room. Mickey D and Mr. Gemini on the mic in a warm up to a show about nothing. Okay, welcome to the green room. <laughs> hey, hey, y'all. Uh, this can be whichever way I feel, because this is my creation. I must have had like 17 Dr. Peppers. The, the build up to the show about nothing. This is the green room. See, that's the thing, bro, because like you used to say this wasn't the real show. Now you call it the the like the warm up or the pre show or, well it is, there's some warming up that needs to be done, <laughs> right? Uh, I mean, I love I appreciate how yeah, you kept that. You no, know, if you're gonna go on a trip, man, you got to tank up first. All right, you load up, you party. <laughs> Dude, my kid pulled that the other day. I was so mad, proud of her. Salancha with the quote. Dude, you oh. Uh, yeah, because I'm literally like loading the trunk. I'm like, yeah, I'm just going to load oh, the man. trunk. And she's just like, we load up, we party. And I was just <laughs> like, this is why I appreciate you. <laughs> we like connected. You know, we got, we were on that level. It was dope. Well, I mean, we get dressed up, but. Yeah, it was, uh, it was one of those great dad moments where. We don't get high or anything. It's just, you know, I felt really good that day. I mean, one time my cousin Kendall. <laughs> They start eating like a bunch of weird foods and feel like he didn't belong anywhere. <laughs> kind of like you. <laughs> oh my god, uh, Mr. Gemini. Oh, Philly D. <laughs> Bro, this is your. Okay, this classic is, fact checker, Miss J D. Bam. Yeah, this is your fucking rodeo, man. You gotta, you gotta rope this clown in over here. So, this. Oh, what would you say you do? This dude over here comes to me one day, not once. Well, Listen, not once. Are you going to tell the or like the first time I did? <laughs> Do you remember the first time? Because I don't think I remember wow. the first time. I remember the first <laughs> Now it's like, <laughs> now there's no pressure at all, right? Do you remember the first time we kissed? Oh you remember the God. first time? Yeah, no. Um, not precisely, but. It was a mid-summer day. It was about 5.02 in the evening. I mean, it's not like I know what you were wearing or. <laughs> That'd just be weird. It was a smile. <laughs> and nothing else that's how I was just like balls out like bro we need to do this <laughs> no like I oh man and you wonder why people read you wrong you, know <laughs> you, like, <laughs> oh, you, do wrong. Like, you don't think that's inappropriate to the situation uh, yeah I come walking up like man you want to do you want to do a radio show with me it's like I don't know you want to put clothes on <laughs> I feel like it's really weird they're gonna ask you twice bro <laughs> Oh, Jesus, Lord. Yeah, Hangover. That's a good one. Dude, the Hangover's got some really good quotables, man. For real, for real. But yeah, like, all right. So, like, I want to say, like, the first time I had I had been smart was just like, yo, we have to record this. Like, we were just chilling out in your freaking garage. Like, just, we were just... Just hanging out in the garage. Yeah, you know, having a beer. Yeah, we loaded up. We watching, partied. Oh, <laughs> well, you know, talking, watching YouTube videos. Just you know, do, just, yeah, doing what we do. And I finally was just like, bro, we need to record this. And you're like, well, what? I was like, shit is funny, man. The stories we tell, the jokes we have. I was like, there's something in here. So, and that, that wasn't, this isn't based on the conception of the show itself. This is actually... In my opinion, actually, truthfully, is more the show than the show because I always felt like that there was this missing material. Like all of our warm up conversations should be also microphoned. You know, I remember it was that twenty four seven thing we were talking about, and it was like that'd be a little weird. <laughs> as well as expensive. Um, <laughs> well, yeah, because because as I kept like for real, for real, kept harassing you. I mean, pretty much, I want to say it was like once a month, I was like, dude, we just need to record this. We need to record this. Like, we should be recording ourselves. Like, this is some good, funny shit. Like, 
I kept saying it for the funny stuff. Though? I don't know. Is it? I'm telling you, that's what that, that was my thing. Is like it, it was. You, man. It was about the jokes, and that's why I was like, I always saw it as a sketch comedy duo, like you and me on stage, just doing a bit, like two dudes talking as if the crowd's not even there. Occasionally break fourth wall and like, you know. <laughs> but that's I, like I feel like there is comedy in there for that. Is it really a wall anymore? I mean. I mean, well, yeah, I mean, I guess there is kind of a wall, like. Well, this was the fourth wall. The fourth wall. Time and space. Picture, if you will. <laughs> so that this is what? This is, that was then? This is what? This is, this is now? Like the now, now. When will then be now? Soon. What happened in now? Oh, you just missed it. When? <laughs> just, just now. <laughs> Uh, Who's on first? I don't know. Third base. Yeah, I um. Yeah, I definitely harassed you, though. I definitely harassed you. I will admit to some, that. There was some harassing. I mean, I didn't like touch you inappropriately, but I definitely harassed. Not that time. No. Not that- <laughs> no, I'm just no, agreeing. It would do. It, that did not happen. That time. I have no. I have never. Were you offered? <laughs> I don't right. Show me on the doll where he does. Everything you. has been consensual. I'm just, you know, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Someone's got to pay my bills. Uh, just bro hands, man. But yeah, no, dude. I kept harassing you and harassing you. I think when you finally agreed to it, it was because I came to you with the idea of doing a talk show, and. I was very much about like just trying to get someone to do something with me, whether it was me doing the Joe Rogan thing. And then I just had like somebody who was a continuous, always kind of a thing. And it just, you and I just started doing it. And it was, it really was just us from the get go. Like it never, it was never not that, you know what I mean? So like it's the, the whole thing of like coming in, trying to talk about Hitler and it's like, here's what we're expecting and it doesn't happen, but you still get what we're looking for. Oh, yeah, the, the plan is... Yeah. yeah, the Joe Rogan-Hitler paradox, I guess we can call it. That's why, and I like I like that whole premise that there is no plan. Yeah. Like, there is no plan, because when you're putting something together, how how else can you be original without just being you and being yourself? <laughs> Sharing in a conversation with someone else, you know, that you, you know, you can be on equal footing with, like whoever we bring in or whatever, you know, conversation, wherever it leads. I mean, we never go over that rule though. We should start. That's me. I'm, I'm slipping there. We should start. I got to go back to the original, right? The OG manifesto, right? Yeah, bro. Because wasn't there some kind of promise that we had to make to each other that, that, um, uh, what's the pirate term? The parlay. The parlay. Well, yeah. Cause it, it at any point in time, well, it's 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 like spoken word of gentlemen or whatever you know, like a gentleman's agreement, hurrah! You know, so it's it's like a handshake without a handshake. Well, it's verbal. It's parlay. It was a way my, to have yeah, communication my, during a time of of battle. So that at any at any point, if you call parlay, they have to honor that and honor your request to have a conversation with the captain of this other vessel or whatever. Or the you're the captain of the fleet, without, or without repercussions. Like I guess the idea is they have, they both have to be able to get in their boats and then leave each other. And if a battle ensues after that, then whatever. But like they have to play fair. So I don't know what the rules exactly were extended beyond that. But I would say those are always up. That for would be discussion. a good question if we have um, Marissa back on. Well, would you? I've had side conversation with her. We we need to make road trips so that we can go see her, and then we can all get together. And she's near there enough that we can get all of us together. I'm just saying, that'd be a really well, dope road trip. We can make that happen. You know, I I'll, I'll be a lot easier for me to grease the wheels on this type of stuff when I'm actually making lots of money. So <laughs> we'll get there one day, dude. When you're taking your kids with you, like. That is, you, you're getting paid. Free weekend for wifey. Take the kids. I'm telling you, drop them off for grandparents. Mm-hmm. We can make that happen, bro. We can do this. <laughs> he's thinking. Like, look at, he's thinking about it. You're like planning. You're planning this out already. 
That's what, it feels like. Well, bro, because I know what it is to have kids and all that kind of shit, and what Santa it is Fest. like. Like I've I've done this. You know what I mean? Or the man. The manifesto. Oh, there's or that manifest. too. Manifest, yeah. Manifest. Law destiny. of attraction. If you speak it, it will come. It's so much more than that. It's right. What did you see? It's not about acquiring something. It's about you're on the same frequency with it. Yeah. Being it's, able to perceive it. Is, it. it is you. Right? <laughs> I got lost. Well, man, I mean, the idea is, man, that when you become one with the entire cosmos... That you are perfect just the way you are. You are a perfect representation of your alignment and your... Yeah, I'm working on that. But, bro, we were on the manifesto. What? Manifesto. Yeah, I don't... Parlay manifesto. I don't know if I have a copy on me. It's like... it's. <laughs> Oh man, I, I, just, I don't, I don't, I don't remember. It, I just it, had the bro code book, like the freaking. Oh, uh, it, it's been too long. I don't. I don't it's all good. I, I mean, it's green room. You can do whatever. You can do whatever we want. Well, Screw I mean, you guys. I'm taking my ball, killing him. You can always do whatever you want. <laughs> you always have choices. You're always noisy. Because that's what my grandpappy you said. Can't touch the money. That you're noisy. Nope. My grandpappy always said. You're noisy. Always, you always have a choice. Oh, yeah, dude. But that choice would have made this happen. It's like, well, yeah, but you still had a choice. Well, see, I, you know, man, I had a... Um, I would have meant all my parents, you know, my parents died and all my friends were killed and... Yeah, well, you still had a choice. So I had a... Um, it's not a choice, but... One of my college professors... Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I, I went to an extreme there. I'm very sorry. Dark hole. One of my college professors was teaching a uh, a business ethics class. And little tidbit that he offered up that wasn't quite exactly ethics, but, you know, just the offering of knowledge in life. And he's like, in everything you do, you have three choices for everything. And I'm like, all right, cool. What's up? He's like, you can either choose to accept it, try to change it, or remove yourself from it. Literally just walk away. You always have yeah. a choice. It's, it's it's one of those three. It's a simple logical equation that you can you can say, I don't this isn't a difficult decision. It's either this, this, or this. Yeah. And it just breaks it down for you. Yeah, absolutely. What the f right. what are you, a lawyer? <laughs> <laughs> no, like I don't real estate agent. Every bit of paperwork that I have, well, this is all work stuff. There's, there's, um, there's so much stuff. It's so, it's so packed in there. There's so much in there. What are you doing over there? Just fingering it out? Or are you just, <laughs> just leafing through it all? It's just leafing. I'm leafing through putting, it all. Putting your, putting your mitts all Read up in there. Read me a story. A horoscope. Uh, okay, tell me a story. Look at this. Look what? what? I even looked up. What? Look, Ayurvedic medicine. Herbs, herbs, herbs. You can't even survive for sure. About that. Uh, yeah. Uh, Hosm Fed Incorporated. I know what this is. Doing it our well, he's like cleaning his fucking folders out. This I know. It's not the end of school year. It's the it's green not fucking room. junior high and you're cleaning out your fucking locker. The entertainment is you yelling at me for looking into and making my voice do this. this and that's kind of horrible stuff. entertainment. Nobody wants to listen to me belittle you on that kind of shit. Sure it's, they do. No, I don't want to do it either. I feel dirty now. Look what you made me did, you little jerk. <laughs> you're such a disease. <laughs> You're with the French called Les Incompetents. <laughs> yeah, I said it. See what I did there? That was pretty good, right? Word. What? Yo, dude, what's mine say? Sweet. <laughs> what's mine say? Dude. dude. Oh. Yours says dude. Yours says sweet. Yours says dude. His says sweet. <laughs> And then, oh, I still got to play that track for you, bro. No, and then. <laughs> oh, for, no, for real, for real. Yeah, there's a, I'll have to. Alabama. Ow. We'll have to see about that on break. Ow. Ow. I'll have to, dude, that was really loud. It hurt my ears. <laughs> okay. <laughs> there uh, was some force behind that. 
Well, he's dude. If it's coming from him, it's always the fours. Oh, this is double up. <laughs> dude, I, I just had to. <laughs> <laughs> Till the break comes, don't. <laughs> Oh, yeah, this my anaconda don't want none unless you got buns. Huh? My my anaconda doesn't does not. <laughs> In fact, does not. You can not. do those side bends or sit up, but please don't lose that. But button. please, <laughs> like what you shatter that shit. <laughs> <laughs> Just don't lose that butt, please. <laughs> Just turn around. Stick, Stick it, it out. out. Stick it out. <laughs> out there. Baby got back. So much back. <laughs> <sighs> I'm sorry. Wait. No, every time I hear me. that I just song. blacked out. <laughs> I was going to think of William Shatner singing it. Dude, I just watched this new movie, <laughs> Tear in the Sky. My Anaconda don't want none. Oh no! So <laughs> so I just, anyway, so I just watched this new movie, uh, "Tear in the Sky." Uh, I haven't seen that. Yet. It's new, new, bro. Okay. Yeah, I rented it. You can you can watch it on my shit. <laughs> oh, I'll you do know. that. Yeah, but I did it this morning, so you got to watch it tonight or tomorrow morning. Or it's only an hour and a half. It's, when it's like an tonight, hour because it's like an hour tonight will actually be well over by the time I get home. Well, we can I can put it on during break. You can start watching it now. That's one way. See what I'm saying? See, we solve problems and stuff. Yeah, same with Santa Makasa. Word. Billy what, Jean, what he said. It's not my lover. <laughs> She's just some girl. The thing's out of her. Billy Jean is not my lover. Dude, I had to. I had to. I had to take it there. Um, just yeah, no, I, bro. Like, so, okay, manifesto. Because, like. So while, like, while, all right, so while, like, I was yeah harassing you to record stuff with me, or allow me to record us, really, is what I was doing. That, but then yeah. I came to you with an idea of a talk show. And then from that talk show idea, we did a couple of takes. We even did one video. I got that. Yeah. It's funny, because I'm like, <laughs> if anybody else out there feels, like, a little bit confused about what this show is really about... Oh, I'm explaining right now. I still don't know. Oh, well, it's, so it's, it's nothing okay. to feel bad about, right? I mean, I still like, I'm like, what is this show really about? I'm it do what it do, baby. I'm going to make it do what it do. That's for, that's for real. Yeah. I mean, that's that's all I can do. But so anyway, so all right, cool. So then we start doing a couple of test runs, come to the agreement that it's like, hey, we need to do this show in this relative platform. We take one take of our first ever, like this is going to be, all right, First part of you made me a deal. You said we needed to do at least ten episodes, or something like a that. A dozen. Yeah, you wanted yeah, a I dozen. Called, I want my. I wanted my twelve. Give me my twelve, Cookie. <laughs> but and so we were going to make those episodes, and you were going to see whether or not you even felt like doing it. But you know, twelve steps. As soon as we were, apostles, which you know. this is, and this is why I find this. <laughs> this is why I find this funny, though. Because it took me, and this is when people, when I say harass, it was two years. Like, this is not a joke. It was literally like two years of me off and on joking about letting me record us. Granted, it was for comedic purposes, but still, I wanted to record us. And this is what it turned into. Is it? But, here, but, so here, <laughs> but here's the catch on it, right? This is why I find this so funny. So it takes me two years to talk you into this shit. Finally get you to let us record, go through a couple different tests, no less, do this, that, and the other, and really get to a place where you're like feeling comfortable with the whole idea. Then it's like, all right, cool. We take the, like, we literally do the first recording of this show that it took me two, at this point, almost two and a half years to talk you into, plan out, and start doing. And as soon as we finish it, you're just like, yeah, we we, we need to record the intro show too. Like, we need to like... The stuff like when we talk about blah, blah, blah. And we literally started recording it. And it was that show, which is this show, The Green Room, was at first series was the catch up. So here it is. Ironically, I finally talk you into doing this shit. And you're just like, no, we need to do more. Like right off the bat. As soon as you're just like, we're doing this. You're like, you know, we still need, we need more. 
There's there's something else. We got to add this. We need this in there. I mean, you were very like, well, I mean, now it, you're making it sound like I just want to keep adding and adding content, but really, no, 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 I, I no. Felt, this, this yeah, right here, yeah, the, this right here. I felt which, like I felt like we were missing out on, and it gave us an opportunity to have a conversation about something and kind of warm up for the night. Okay, this is where my mind is at tonight, and this is kind of where I'm going to lead. So it. Like even though you it wasn't the same, you could kind of see where the green room and the ITY episode would would link up. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, because it's just kind of like the attitude and the atmosphere for the night. Pretty much, based on whatever conversation topic came up. Well, which because even when I put this stuff back up on YouTube and stuff, when I do all the reboots and everything, I link them and tell them like what episode this is before. So this is you know episode whatever is before this episode and I even tell them what that episode is if I'm telling you that I'm telling you hate the pre-show of this is a song you know I've been trying to explain it and show it to people I don't know it's all good there's like playlists and shit I don't know fucking it's whatever I mean, some, something seems to be working somebody's listening yeah man dude I'm, I'm <laughs> I don't know Bro, I'm surprised like, myself but every time I pop on like check stuff out we've been growing it's really dope we be jamming. Yeah, right near the beach. I mean, like, I check Oy. it out. I check it out now and then, but, like, even I'm not, like, I mean, who has time to always to check every hour of content that you've... I have, uh, maybe I do. you do. I mean, I, but I have to, because have to. When, I go, when I go to do the re... Like, when I put it up out, like, I have to make sure audibly from start to finish, it's 100%. Right. Somebody has to do that. Well, I would do it, but I don't, you know... I mean, granted, I do while I'm in the car and I'm just, you know, driving, doing work and shit, going places. So it's just in the background and I'm just, you know. Oh, just to actually, just to listen to it. Wait, because it needs, yeah, yeah it, needs, it just needs to be listened to to make sure from start to finish, there's all the audio and there's no weird glitches or, you know, got to make sure the the recording is correct or, you know, the the download, the file, whatever. And but admit it, I mean, it's awesome though. Like even a bad recording now compared to where we started. Bro. It's not even comparable. You know what I'm saying? But that's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. You know what I mean? But like, yeah, I mean, it's like, it's the idea that, um, I mean, us, <laughs> this is what it could give you. It's, with the original idea that you and I agreed to, once we did, you know, hey, we're like, all right, cool. So we have, I'm telling you, and now we have the green room. Um, It was one of those things where the original idea of what I'm telling you was now is more or less what the green room has become. Because in here, they're, they're, we always say, we joke, but it's true. You know, this is Vegas. What happens here stays here. You know, outside of this recording, dude, don't leave this room. And there's that freedom of what I'm telling you supposed to be, but now because we do it for for you know DIM, it's it's the fact that we do have relative constraints without being restricted. You it's, know, yeah. I mean, any constraints feel can feel restrictive if you focus on that. But I mean, it, well, correct. And they're and they're not constraints where it's we can't be free to speak our minds. Well, like we can and we can speak on that what those things are. Now we don't have to like you know, tiptoe around them, but anything, anything religious or anything political. Well, no, it's not, it's not in that we can't talk about religion or politics. That can't be the conversation. So we can't be sitting here going, be like, John three seventeen. Like we can't do that. So religion's out politics, same thing. But like, you know what? The left wing, right is something or other. This public can't do that shit either. But if it's a part of the conversation, because that's the thing is we were talking piracy. I'm not, I'm not politically minded. Like I wouldn't want to put myself out there as being somebody who's knowledgeable about politics. Right. You but know? that's the thing is we did, we did um, the, we were talking about piracy and it's linked to democracy. That was a conversation that was involved about politics. Right. But and these are the kinds of things that would have been fresh on the minds of the libertarians when they were putting this country together. You know what I'm saying? The, the thought process was to have a free and open society where you can have a democracy. And there was some other stuff that was inappropriate because you had to be 
I think that there were you had to have skin in the game. I think originally to be able to vote, like you you had to be a landowner. Or, right, right, right. Yeah, know, somehow which makes another. it makes sense. I mean, nothing necessarily wrong with that, but. See, I'm gonna, do, but that's where I'm like, dude. But then you know, as we grew as a as a nation, obviously you have to kind of. <clears throat> but see, that's the thing is like, if you if you as only an owner, that's why I was like, I never liked that idea. I mean, yeah, I understand you got to start somewhere, but dude, I, that that even as somebody who owns stuff, that doesn't even sound right to me. It's like, dude, what? No, because I mean, I know I started from nothing. You know, I've been working my butt off and getting to this point that I'm at, like. You know, this is, this didn't happen overnight. This is not a, a happenstance. You know, people look at me all the time. They're like, wow, you do this, this, and this. And like, oh, they're just holding, I'm like, do you, 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 you know, did you ever see the movie Gran Torino? Yeah. Where he's talking about his tools when the kid's just like, oh my God, how do you, it's just like, it just, it just takes times, you know, years and years and years of being focused on getting this done. You accomplish things. You start to gather knowledge and tools and abilities and. Yeah. You don't buy this all at once. Yeah, right, dude. I'm I'm turning 44 soon. Do you think you? I didn't figure this shit out yesterday. Like, dude, I've been at this for a while. Like, I, I mean, still have a ways to go. Young you buck, can, right? 44. Dude, that's what I'm saying. Look like, at you, young buck. <laughs> no shit. I mean, especially if I'm trying to get into like golf and stuff. It's like, dude, I need to be super active and athletic. And so, I mean, I stretch and exercise and I need practice to stretch. And, I should, yeah, I should get into some kind of stretching. I mean, I do it every day. It's part of my meditation. I meditate and then I stretch. You know? Yoga. Uh, no, thanks. I'm not hungry. Yoga fire. <laughs> oh, you're <okay>? Sorry. <laughs> Dr. Dugan. Sorry. Dr. Dogan. Stretch. Yoga flame. <laughs> Sorry. I was like Street Fighter and fucking. <laughs> there was a Mortal Kombat in there too. Get over here. <laughs> oh yeah. Jesus! But yeah, see, this is but see, like Scorpion oh. wins. But like, all right, so like, victory, babe, reality, babe, reality. But dude, for real, like, this is why I love the green room now is because this is this is what we originally set out to do, and that's why when you say this isn't the real show, I'm like, yeah, it is, man. And this <laughs> is why. And this is totally why. What it is, man. <laughs> what it is. That does kind of sum it up, though. S silly as it sounds when you hear that as the intro, but what it is, man. I know. That was like a half an hour intro. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the green room, people. We appreciate you. Boy, it's just, it's just, it's just, it's just talking. It just, just, no need to label it. No need to, you know, are we dating? I mean, does it really matter? I mean, do we have to love each other? I mean, there's an exchange going on here. Like, can you feel it? If you can feel it, good. Enjoy it. You know, you don't have to label it. It doesn't have to be a certain thing. I, I, I feel like you're... I you had a little know. caffeine. Don't worry. Oh, okay. Just right, roll cool. with it. No, I'm just making sure. Because, you know, I mean, if you're feeling a certain way about like... I mean, did you have an experience in... No, not at all. Oh, okay. Just, okay. Just, you know, I'm, I'm looking out for my brother. You know, if you need to... <laughs> If you need to vent, this is a safe space. We can we can talk about it. Be here on the doll, show me where the bad man is. <laughs> uh, I don't want to talk about it. Oh, yeah, it's right there. <laughs> it's him. It's him. Oh, my God. Oh. He's guilty. And the innocence washed away. <laughs> We're just going to make some microwave popcorn. Could you put some pants some on? Some margaritas. I feel kind of strange that I got to ask you twice, brother. The waffle maker's still warm. Oh, God. Oh. I just do No, no. Can I make you a waffle? Oh, use my margaritas. Don't. <laughs> what the fuck, bro? If you don't like waffle, I can make full waffle. You make a, a f <laughs> fucking awful waffle? That was, that's what I heard. Oh, <laughs> uh, what? I don't even know. I mean, but that's, wait, I'm I'm not him. I'm his cousin. That's who it is. Wait, no, what? Uh, when Dude, I do, you it, no, I don't I know do his you. voice. What am I? Oh no! Oh, <laughs> what? Oh, oh, God, eerie Eddie. 
<laughs> fucking eerie. Eddie. Oh, do you have any sunblock? I have extra sunblock if you need some. Uh, it's only SBL 100. Only? Oh, I, I turn very easy. Are you going to oh. spend more than 100 minutes in the sun? Uh, do you need cocoa butter? Are you aware of the... <laughs> <laughs> it smells like bacon. Are you aware of the multitudinous benefits? <laughs> You're like a door-to-door daily salesman. Daily use of cocoa butter. butter. <laughs> oh, my God. Mm. I don't know. Maybe we should, uh, like, for our dude, our dudes asking, we should do some more stuff, man. Maybe we should do the show we're talking about, but with, like, puppets. And just like quick just, little sketch, just make it a like a part, a part of the show, but a part also of the uh, no, like a whole other separate, thing. separate shareable YouTube channel. Yeah, like the whole other thing, like our own Crank Yankers meets the Muppets, dude. I'm, but I'm saying, make it part of the green room or part of ITY, whatever. Well, I mean, maybe the green room, the actual recording of it, could also be part of that. But see, I don't, dude. This is we we need more tech. All right, so we asked for a fact checker. We got one. What else do we need? We need we need some uh, PAs. Uh, we need some engineers. Uh, please write in digital ITY editors. At, are you good? I mean, do, I don't know. We do interns. This is you know. Hey, we can hook you up with like experience, but you know, high help, fives, help a brother believe. out. I think oh, we was... got all the high fives you want. And if you're of legal age, we do have alcohol. It's just usually, you know. Beer. I mean, mostly. Well, and tequila, and but some you got to be special to get the tequila. Swords. This is, what is this, like a 7%? <laughs> this is like a 9-6, man. Oh, shit. <laughs> Good thing I'm not, I'm not walking Say home. What, what were we talking about? <laughs> there was, uh, it was interesting, I know, I just can't, oh, I can't I can't remember what it was. Dude, bro, and these are like these are pretty fucking old. You know what I mean? Like mid September last year. It's just some fucking these aged well, man. I'm just saying, and the ones that blew up today were booties from a month before. By like fucking three weeks maybe. And then bitches were grenades. Yo, I had fucking four fucking cans go off on me. Some bitch. I had to clean my car out and shit. And me. My shoes. It was everywhere. Is that more or less likely to happen with class? That's what I wonder. I mean. I couldn't tell you. Couldn't tell you, man. I just know what happened. See, what had happened was... Like, is there not as good a seal on a can as there is on a a glass bottle? I don't fucking... Do I look like Mr. Wizard of I don't know. I'm just, I'm just saying. I feel like... Like, beer I should, know some I, I shit. I feel like beer should last longer than, like, 12 months. In a keg, yeah. Well, yeah, in a keg, but... I mean... Then you only drink from the keg? That sounds... Actually, that sounds like a good idea. <laughs> Threat just, me with I'll a just, good time. I'll just make three huge beers every year, and I'll put them in kegs so I can drink them throughout the year, and they naturally will have low CO two. So who cares? I mean, if you want to make a bunch of beer for people, I know I know places we can throw parties at. I no man. It says the growler keep them. Uh, the Beer lasts longest in growlers. I mean, if they're filled all the way and you don't open them and they stay sealed. Well, the best way actually is to have a special corked with vacuum. Like they make certain devices where you can actually put them out. You can put them under pressure so that you can serve them, but you can put them under pressure and keep them capped. As you see, it sucks as it cuts. Yes, it certainly does suck. What is it, sir? She's gone from suck to blow. Nice. Mega Man. Dude, that was a good one. Suck. 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 
Come on, I told Schwartz. you never to wear that thing around. Come me. on, Schwartz. Come on. <laughs> never know if you're making faces at me. He's like, but he's like, you have to paint the word. What the <laughs> fuck? You paint it. I don't know. I ain't paint shit with you. <laughs> <laughs> Now it all comes out. No, I see how it is. I ain't Bob Ross, motherfucker. I ain't got no happy squirrels and some no, you're trees like for you. The opposite of Bob Ross. I don't. I'm his cousin. I'm his cousin, Roberto Ross. <laughs> hey, hey, you bring your own paints, huh? Yeah. Hey, I'm gonna need to borrow those. Hook me. Hook me like, hey, no, hook me up. Give me. Give me the. Give me them. Like, no, these are these are bad paints. You don't need these. That's more like Angelo Ross. That's <laughs> what like, I don't know. Jesus Christo. It's all good. All right. I'm not like Italian Roberto. That's Ro- Roberto. What is the fucking... What I don't is know. The, the I was fucking, trying to place it. That's what I was trying to figure fucking, out. Oh, oh God. Uh, the, I'm just saying. I'm telling you. I don't know. Football movie with Adam Sandler. Waterboy. His fucking... His father... What's his fucking father's Water name? Water sucks. It really, really Wasn't his, What is his father's name? Robert Nelson. He's like, Roberto. <laughs> All fucking cross-eyed and shit. <laughs> you and me, like Tiger Woods and his daddy. <laughs> and that's when like the mom comes out and tackles his ass. <laughs> Knocks him and be like, that's where, she, that's where he gets it from. Damn. Damn. <laughs> Fucking Thinking like in forest. Boys are running full. <laughs> Stop, Forrest. Uh-huh. <laughs> the fucking signs in the audience. Oh, that shit's hilarious. Dude, I mean, I'll tell you that movie, man. Like, production-wise, as it tells the story, even, is, like, just well... Like, it's just a well-done production, man. Fucking Forrest Gump. Alabama. I love that story. I really do. I love the story of Forrest Gump. Because how more ordinary can you be? It's just somebody who's been born with adversity and that's all they've ever had, but they're nice and they're polite and they move forward in a, you know, in an ordinary manner just to please others, basically. I mean, that was all he lived for. I mean, in a sense. And there was a lot of, fr- oh man, I'm, you could probably do a whole psychological breakdown. I'm sure plenty of people have already done it. There's maybe even books written Dude, on this. We, so we watched that movie in one of my psychology classes. In yeah, like, I was going to say, that's a perfect. Yeah, and broke that shit down. That's where I make So like, all right, so. Because it really kind of creates bro. this image of the everyman because anybody can understand that, like being the low guy on the totem pole, being the. Yeah, everybody feels like everybody you know, knows what it is to feel like pigeonholed. To just feel like, says Man. stupid is it stupid does. But that's so real. That's why. That's why but, dumb shit hurt. <laughs> <laughs> what? It's for real. That's like, dude. Even for me, like that. Because, dude, if it if it hurt more, well, that was I like that rock in the face choices. before he started running, and then the the braces <laughs> fell off his legs. <laughs> and the, yeah, yeah, fucking bionic and that's man. When that shit busted loose and started flying around, bolts and everything. And then he was like, he was speed like, lighting. You know, <laughs> flash. That boy's uh, a lonely fool. Sorry. <laughs> No, but for real, that was it. That was that was a flash. Um, That's it. There it is. All right. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, Forrest Gump is a great movie. <laughs> and it starts. It starts and ends with the feather man, dude, bro. Did it's we so? Did we start this episode where I was like, it was like, a feather man that connected it all. It was in the book, and then it came out with the boy when he had a. Oh man, bro. We started this episode with me talking about how I must have drank like seventeen octa peppers. Here we are, all in fucking Forrest Gump. Was it fifteen? I said seventeen because that's what I think. I think it was fifteen. I don't know. It was sixteen, Doctor Peppers. It was fifteen or oh, sixteen. I can't remember. I want to say it was sixteen, Doctor Peppers. It was probably like nine. No, I was like, I must have like I, sixteen, Doctor. I, I don't know. If it's I really had to pay. I don't know. Oh shit! I think it's raining outside. I think I think it is. Oh, I think we can hear it rain in the. That's why I didn't ride tonight. I was. It was totally tempting. I'm glad I didn't. It's all good in the hood, homie. So nice on the way down here. I was like, I wish I was riding right now, but I knew. 
if there's any chance when they say thunderstorms are on their way, I'm just like, nah, not worth it. Yeah, I was glad I got, I got a, I joined, I, I was telling you, I joined the, uh, the Gentleman's League as an alternate. So I'm basically on call every week to play nine holes on a Wednesday night. You have to wear a cravat. I mean, I prefer the kilt because it lets everything hang out. <laughs> <laughs> Be original. Hey, oh. <laughs> yes, sir. Yeah. Uh, 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 <laughs> but yeah, no, I um, got me golf clubs. But it was nice though, because and yeah, I was there was threat of potential for the moisture that <laughs> stops us. But no, nah, no, we we made it, and it was nice. No, you got to worry about moisture when you're wearing that kilt. You know what I'm saying? Oh, the breeze is great when it has the. Uh, <laughs> It's the upstroke. So is it true they say there's nothing, you don't wear anything down there? Or? I mean, if you're going to be correct, just that is let correct. It, it's just blown in the breeze. Do it as do, baby. There's no like, like loincloth or any kind of... There ain't no holding this back. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jesus. That's me, we Scotsman. That's what that is, eh? I mean... Be so proud Sure as How do you Scotsman? Fucking drink and talk shit like one. <laughs> That's golf, laddie. But yeah, dude, you know what? I played really well today. I was happy with that. I'm 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 gonna be honest. I was very happy with how I played today. You know? Did, did golf start from like rich farmy landowners back in the day? Like, was that <sighs> really because it was just kind of developed, it just kind of came out of nowhere. So if like I recall, people started making clubs and balls and if well, so if I recall correctly, the oldest recollection or what we would say would be the OG or the original origin of was out of yeah, so uh, Scotland or the UK or you know that area where with open plains you could have this game where you could literally just hit rocks with a stick. Well, the open plains in Scotland, it's like bumpy. <laughs> what, dude, it's hilly and grassy, and but who gives a it's shit? It's just very bumpy. You got yeah. a bunch of open fields, and you can just, you know, whack. That's why I'm like, dude, golf is the most childish sport I've ever heard of. Where else would you go out into the woods with a stick to hit a ball and do a little hole, you know, 600 yards this way, 300 yards? Like, where, well, that's where, what I think. That's what I think about it, though. It's that it, maybe it, it originated from the idea of. I have I have property and I can draw a line around my property and like I could kind of put a hole here, put a hole there, put a hole and make a target for myself so that I can traverse my property, you know, maybe also with a, you know, shotgun or something shotgun. At, my, at my side. Sorry. Just in case I, you know, I see an animal that I don't like or some kind of brigand, you know, or maybe dinner or dinner. Nice juicy deer. I don't know. Some mushrooms. Alligator. I'm just saying mushrooms. Maybe there were some mushrooms. Maybe questionable of origin. I'm not sure. I think you're supposed to go mushrooms. <laughs> there was some kind of fungus. I don't think that counts. This fungus has always been among us. This this is a fun guy to be with. Hey oh. Fungus have always been among us. Mycelium. They taught us everything we know. Mycelium. If you want to believe in aliens, believe in fungus. Can you use that in a sentence? <laughs> I'm just saying. I... Do you know? And that's the funny thing. Fungus oh. breathe oxygen and breathe out carbon dioxide just like human beings. So it's kind of like a plant-human hybrid. It's not really a plant and it only grows in the dark and in shit, right? I mean, just like us, right? Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> All right, I'm Screaming, just going to just, just gonna just take with this it. beer away from No, me. no, 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 don't. <laughs> My precious. Apparently you can't handle the 9%. You can't handle the truth. That's the problem. <laughs> you... <laughs> <laughs> you need me on this mic. You want me on this mic. You can say whatever you want. The fact is, is I'm here to do a job, and this is what I do. <laughs> Did you order the cold red? You damn right, I ordered the cold red. 
Oh, sorry. I'm having a stroke. Ah, <laughs> stroke, stroke. Ah. Black, sir, do you smell burnt toast? <laughs> oh, do you smell? <laughs> do you smell margaritas? Dude, I wanted a muffin. I did, oh, I the did muffins. no salt. No salt. <sighs> <laughs> but, uh, da. Ah. Liquid swords affects the memory. Ah. <laughs> uh. Oh, yeah. Oh. Um. <laughs> no, I am your I, father. Alcohol reduces inhibitions. <sighs> Only came here for two things. Oh, the beer's all gone. <laughs> <laughs> I feel you on that. Oh, I'm saying. You gotta kick the, some ass. See, that's the problem with drinking nine percenters in the green room, dude. I mean, we got to be all like serious and shit. Like, oh, welcome to I'm telling well, you. <laughs> I, feel, I feel like it means a big snack time coming up, like something, like some noodles or something. Yeah, that's great. Make some for yourself. That's what I'm going to do. It might even be double. Dude, if you make double noodles, I'm going to double hit you. What if I make double noodles and I like save a small portion and I eat that later? I'm going to slap you with it. How about if I save oh. half and I eat it later? Let's not and say we did. <laughs> what? That's the thing. Any chance that you're gonna eat double noodles? I cannot. I cannot stand by that. So what you're is saying that, is, is there's the a problem? maybe. No. Well, because no. I feel Hard like pass. I Hard feel pass. like one packet is not quite enough. The only way you're making double noodles is if you're sharing half with me now. Is that what you want to do? No, I'm just We're saying that's this. the Are only allowance. Together? You want to have some noodles together? I'm not eating your noodles, bro. <laughs> What if we make three packs and we, we share it right together? now? Can we do that? Make three packs in a big pot. But I don't have all any, together. I don't have any eggs, which means I don't have any uh, egg yolks. Sorry, egg whites to make some egg drop because I love egg drop with my ramen, bro. That's what I'm all about. That's that, what but I, I don't fox need with. it. You know what I'm saying? That's what I fox with. I'm all about that, but that's I don't extra need it. protein. I'm all about it, and but it's I, from a living animal that you get to love and care for. He's not hearing me. This is, this is what I'm saying. We I need to have like food Listen, forest. Linda. Listen. Man, Earth the Doris. Come Doris. in, Doris. Earth the Doris. This is why we need permaculture, <laughs> food forest, fucking chickens and goats and shit. Dude, I'm telling you. I'm pro. I'm telling you. That's the freaky thing when you think about it, though. I mean, it'd be good to like. Why is it freaky? It'd be Well, I mean, it'd be good to start growing your own Freak fruits and vegetables or whatever mind. you can grow around your house, right? Because... You never know. Like I've heard it said that we kind of live, we kind of live on this delivery system of, of airplanes and drivers and trucks and highways and byways. And yeah, unless you shop if local, all that, you are if, not buying. If US all that food. were to fall apart, it would only take like 48 to 72 hours for everything to just go to shit. A uh, week, week and a half. Well, I mean, because it depends on the deteriorate rate of how fast everybody goes like, oh, no, it's going to snow. Buy all the bread and milk. Like, you can't, what? That's the first thing that happens. Which, which is, is funny. Dumb, which is the dumbest but thing because you're buying the, the like two or three most perishable items. But see, that's the thing is I would be buying like flour, rice. I would buy me a couple gallons of milk. Rice is I would an awesome freeze choice because it's like, all you need to do is keep it dry. Oh, yeah, dude. Plenty of butter, oils. Right. You know what I mean? I'm looking for stuff that I can, like vinegar, stuff that I can use to like. If you have butter, you can make a meal out of that. As yeah, sick no as that shit. sounds. Like you need that. You need you need fat. But see, this is what cracks me up. When you live in the wild, everybody says the same thing. You need a very high fat diet. And even them dudes are like mad cut and like, they're just, well, they're if you like live in farm strength. If you live in the wild, you're not going to be eating a 12 ounce steak once a week. You're not going to be eating a hamburger. It depends on where you live. You know what I mean? If 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 you're lucky, you might catch small game now and then, but for the most part, you might have to subsist on stuff that you're able to grow in your in your garden. Well, see, that's why I keep saying, like, when the kid leaves, I'm telling you, bro, I am hooking the aquaponics up much bigger because I have, for the size tank that I run, I'm really, I'm at, like, maybe a third of my grow bed space. So I have a lot more grow bed I could really be pumping out and just because I mean you see how big those freaking things get like. But just I'm saying, imagine. Then, then I gotta have chickens, right? But that's what I'm saying, dude. All right, so chickens for eggs. They're chickens and and as well sounds, as for, and I know that sounds weird, but goats. 
Yeah, for goat milk and shit. Because that's you can actually make goat cheese. Yeah, not that, not that I'm a off. fan of goat of goat milk, but it's actually easier for the human being to digest goat milk than it is cow's milk. Well, and it also has good um and like and has good bacteria in it too. So it's also good for well, all that stuff's got that's that's you probiotics. Make, dude, goat yeah. cheese is like you know, you can make like fucking yogurt and shit, and like I'm just saying, bro. We we're just talking about that with the I'm just saying, bro, with the sour bro, saying, right? Bro. Using Using Greek yogurt. Saying, bro. I'm saying. I'm telling you. No. Yes. Green room. Yes. What? Yes. Wait, yes. did we miss the break? Did I miss the break? What's high score mean? Is that bad? What? Did I break it? <laughs> did I black out? I don't know. I blacked out. What happened? What happened? The sign's still green. Do I have to change it again? What happened? No, I, I'm, it's, I mean, it's with 9%, bro. It's Saturday, bro. <laughs> Telling you, oh, but it's not. Yo, no, it's I'm Wednesday, telling you, bro. No, dude, I'm telling you, freaking girl shirt because there's only one side to it. Needs to be. It's Saturday, bro. A what? I'm telling you, ladies' tea. It's the Saturday. La a ladies' tea should be. It's Saturday, bro. Well, yeah, because like she was saying, one sided. Cause if you have the hair and you throw it in the back and stuff, you're not gonna be able to see the back of the shirt anyway. So it's pointless to do it. So for lady tees. We should have a whole only one sided. It has to be on the, f yeah, it'll just be on the yeah. front. Yeah. So, but you know, with appropriate state, that's why I was like, what it's was appropriate? You know, no, you can have fun with that one too. No, because the one, no, cause, no, 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 because no, there was the one where you, well, I was just like, it's not cheating if you're the little spoon. <laughs> Remember that shit? <laughs> oh my God. I'm like, what do you do? Like, I could imagine myself being a female and I would love to wear inappropriate shirts that people have to read. And then they're staring at my chest. Well, like, is that a thing? It's like, it's like, you almost want to make a t-shirt that's like, you sick pervert or douchebag or what? Yeah. If you can read this, I know you're a pervert. Fuck off. Look up. And you're just like, oh no, look away. My look eyes away. are up here with an arrow, yeah, right. you know? Well, no, cause I was saying- <laughs> I was saying with the the one um our the one friend of ours uh, that we both know from the from the pub where it was she was wearing this shirt that's the band's called the Bouncing Souls. Mm -hmm. Not a joke. Yeah, yeah. Right? However, so she's wearing a t-shirt and on the front it's all black, but in, you know, lettering it says the Bouncing Souls. Right. I haven't seen the back of the shirt. I've only seen the front of the shirt. And I'm, you know, having a conversation with her and we're like chatting it up. And at some point I finally just like my brain reads all of this and I'm just like, wait a minute. And I just look at her, I was just like, are you wearing that shirt ironically? And she's like, wait, what? And she looks down. She's like, no. And I was just like, cause it's the bouncing souls. Literally. I was just like, cause it says the bouncing souls right across your breast. So, I mean, I feel like. <laughs> This is this is an ironic T-shirt. She's like, no, it's actually a band that I really enjoyed. I was, just, she's like, but now that you mention it, I was just like, I'm just, I'm good. I point out the obvious. I feel like, but B bouncing, and I'm trying not to look, and this is kind of funny, and it's making that's me laugh. Because I, I mean, and you, I mean, you and I knowing her, it's like, dude, she's funny enough and smart enough that she would do that. If that's what, if like that was, she was just like, yeah, it's, I'm isn't that the kind of thing that you notice when you're like, you're starting on the dating scene and you're still like nervous about yourself and you see something that makes you laugh and you're just like, I can't even get into that right now. That's just totally freaking me out. I don't know. I just, I love that her and I had like a 10 minute conversation before all of a sudden my brain was just like, something doesn't compute about her shirt. It's just like, there's a joke in there. I was like, wait a minute, hold on. There's a joke in there somewhere. Oh, yeah. I was like, so is Does that your brain think like that? Dude, it does. Like, there's got to be a joke in here somewhere. Pretty much. Pretty much. So this, yeah. this is like your life? You, you look for that too? Like, just anything in life? I'm, it's just how my brain's programmed at this point, man. Like, there's got to be a funny here somewhere. Well, because, you know... Cause, well, because honestly, if you're not laughing sometimes, you that's know... That's what I'm saying. Because uh, sometimes the pain just hurts too much to not laugh. It's just better laugh, in my opinion. <laughs> Wait, hey, did we ever figure out how many Dr. Peppers it was? I think it was about 50. <clears throat> oh, I don't know. And then we asked about golf. She hasn't. I, I really have to pay. But, dude, we're almost there. No, I mean, I, I really do have, have answers to eat. About but... golf. Wait, what? I do have answers about golf. 
Okay, what's golf? Hello? What happened? Golf? Jets are flying over. Um, oh. So I thought that was, with you, the was goal, you were looking at our sky like, was that us? What's going on right now? <laughs> anyway, yeah. It sounded like it was here, but that's because I got the headphones when on. When will then be like, now? Out. Soon. All right, so. Wow. <laughs> golf? So with golf, um, with golf, it was created literally, um, it, it comes from the... You're making a lot of noise, but you ain't saying nothing. I know. Um, it comes from a word that it sounds like golf, but it literally means club in another language. We come from. Um, I keep reaching for give me no a fucking second beer. to find Physical out tradition where itself. it was from. Yeah, <sighs> but it literally started as players just attempting to hit a pebble over sand dunes around a track using a bent stick or club. So it was, huh. the game was literally named after club. From and where? Originally in Scotland. Scotland. <gasps> it's always See, been what I'm Sco- saying, dude. This Scottish. Is like, this is a fucking kid's game. This is why I love it so much. I'm like, yeah, I want to go out in the woods and hit a little ball in the hole. <laughs> Sounds Scotland. great to me. And dude. did you know how the word birdie came about? <laughs> yeah, but it's... It's from Top you Gun. See me, birdie. <laughs> well, we it were, literally just we means the word "cool" <laughs> of the time. Say that again. <laughs> so, "bird" was the quote-unquote "cool" of its time back in 1910. So, instead of saying like, "Oh, that's cool," that the bird is the word. They say bird. bird. So it's a bird. Bird, 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 bird is the word. Bird, 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 bird. And that just, the word. that's one of those bird. things that just like started and it just stuck. So it was a totally yeah, grassroots. Yeah, so when you yeah, got under so a bar, you were like, cool. something golf was grassroots. Because don't you know? Something golf was grassroots. Is that you weird? heard? Grassroots. Everybody's heard that the bird is the word. Is it because of the bird? Bird, 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 bird. Are you nine percent, bro? Nine point six. I don't fair. I don't remember Ferris being nine, nine times. times. Boop, boop. <laughs> Dude, you gotta throw the fucking sound effects for the screen roll. It's the only <laughs> way it makes the scene work. You know what I mean? Like, I'm telling you, this is how my brain. Dude, there's a movie screen oh, in my head. Oh, 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 oh. It, really, <laughs> it was from the Dutch word. The fucking Dutch. I'm sorry. The Dutch word. The guten klagen. Kolv. K-O-L-V-E. It translates to club. Kolv. Kolv. Yep, 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 yep. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. So golf is what it sounds like. But it really means and it was club. A, a pebble. If it falls off the track, pick it up. Pick it up. <laughs> like a small stone. <laughs> a pebble. A round object. Snatch the made of from my head rock. Grasshopper. A rock object of... R- we're on this rock. A mighty rock of some sort. I don't know. I found it on me property and I just started banging it around. I don't know. It works. <laughs> I have no idea. Like, how did this come about? Like... Some crazy guy just. Florida? That's what I was thinking. Like, like not rich guys, but like property owners, oh. right? Back in Scotland. Oh my god! Like it was just a game that just kind of came out of nowhere. Like this, you know, like when you're kids, you just develop your. Bro, I'm telling Don't you do that when you're a kid? When we were kids, we used to develop our own games. Now you just kind of like look but at that's a, what I'm. You saying. look at a screen somewhere and you just push buttons. But, that's what but like, I'm saying. like out there in the real world, we used to actually have to create that's our own what games. I'm right? And that's somebody why, created this. That's why all games revolve around something so simple like a ball. That's what I'm saying. Like, hey, we just need to have a ball. Yep, yep, yep. And yep, we can make yep. a game. Uh, is that uh, why? Like having fun is. Equi- equivalent to having a ball like i don't know like just it was something about having a in like nine times out of ten no. having a ball <laughs> you could create a game around that ping pong tennis basketball volleyball, volleyball football but that's golf. a weird one 
because that was a pig skin. But hacky sack. All you need is a ball. I'm hacking sack. What? Is Oh my god. Did you hear that? Is that here or Oh I don't my even, god. No, I pretty That's I, not I, here. I, yeah, no, no, I think it's is there a tear in the sky? We know I even fucking finished telling you about the whole tear in the sky. I was gonna spoiler alert and every but we're gonna watch it all. It's called it cool. It's, hey, we'll it's we'll size check, case, we'll check it. uh nine percent. I'm kinda hungry, bro. I need to get some freaking grub. It's, uh, it's, uh, yeah, I blacked out what happened. Eh? <laughs> Fuck yeah, no, we is um. Uh, uh, oh, so this is my baby. So um, hello, my baby. Hello, this is hello, this has hello. been another episode of the Green Room, brought to you by Mister Gemini and Liquid Swords and Liquid Swords, <laughs> and also a oh, Philly D on Liquid Swords, <laughs> and also. Quickly, <laughs> quack a fact check of this JD. And we just roll with it. However, it flows, it goes. And we're just going to take that because we're a bunch of crazy bros and sis. Don't miss <laughs> with some the next time we're on. <laughs> with the calculation, with the anticipation. What's this, what's this of the exaggeration of the... Just, yeah, I don't even know. Well, well, whatever. There was, a pro, there was a manifesto on the proclamation. I thought you were trying to get out of here. I'm not even sure what's going on. We didn't land on Plymouth Rock. Plymouth Rock landed thanks, on us. Thanks for checking in. Oh, uh, and <clears throat> everyone, yeah. and be as good, always, be good to yourself. Be good to everyone else. Much love. Peace. Peace. Peace.